This video will demonstrate how service contract quotes are created within Service Genie. The process is very similar to creating a service contract with just a few minor differences. To start creating your service contract quote, go to the Customer module and select the Quotations sub-module. And then to begin your quote, select Create New Quotation. Select your quotation type as service contract from the list. The first section is general information and the sections on the left can be expanded and collapsed using the up and down arrows. Start by selecting the customer you want to set the service contract for, click the ellipsis and select from the list. Add a quote reference if required, this is an optional field. For the service type, select whether you'll be servicing specific items of equipment and applying service schedules for them, or if you are setting a recurring schedule for the site as a whole. The cover type field allows you to capture what cover may be included on the contract, and this field is only used for information and reporting purposes, but separates cover types at a high level. In general, a full maintenance is a contract type that has a pre-agreed charge for the parts and labour on each service, and non-full maintenance generally is a contract type that covers part of, but not all of the service. The service level field allows you to categorise your service contracts and set the overall service level for the contract. You will be able to set different service levels for different pieces of equipment later on. The preferred engineer field is optional at this stage, but it allows you to select a default engineer that should be sent on any service jobs raised from this contract. Date of quote is defaulted to today's date but can be edited and you can also add a quote valid until date which can help you with setting notifications to alert you when any quotes due to expire. The branches service contract is not used for customer contracts. Work carried out notes should be used to give a description of the work you are quoting for and this can populate the quote document that you send to your customer. Any other notes added here are for internal use and are not viewable by the customer.